Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will address how to install a unique authentication file into System Platform and to address a small communication manager caveat regarding ASG authentication. In System Platform 6.0 and later, the license file is obtained from PLDS, the Product Licensing and Delivery System. We are seeing, however, that many system platform implementations do not change out the default authentication file, which carries the AFID of 71 followed by eight zeros. This is the common default authentication file across all system platform installations. This could be viewed as a security concern. The focus of this video will be to install a unique authentication file in system platform. The security key contained within that file will be shared with the other application templates that use ASG authentication. We will look at the installation process to install the authentication file and explain some installation options available. Lastly, I will discuss a caveat in Communication Manager with regards to the AFS file. I have logged into the console domain of the system platform. This demonstration is making the assumption that we have a unique authentication file on your laptop procured from the AFS subsystem of RFA. The installation of the auth file is performed in the submenu of user administration called authentication file. I have opened that screen and shown on the upper right is the default AF file with the 71 number followed by the eight zeros. There is other status information shown that will be updated upon the install of the new file. In the right corner is a checkbox that selects the force load of new file. This has two specific functions. One is if the AF file is being changed out for some other reason because of a change in AFID. The other is if an existing file is suspected of being corrupted. These options should be rarely used. Let's install the file. To do that, press the Upload button and select the file from your hard drive. Note now that there is an Install button. The new file we have downloaded does have a different AFID than the default 71 numbered file. This specific case, however, does not require the force option, even though that the AFID numbers are different. Pressing the install button starts the process. Note the red spinning triangle indicating that the operation is occurring. After a short period of time, the process is finished. Note the new information presented as the FQDNs entered when the file is being created now appears in the application certificate section. The new AFID is displayed in the upper right of the authentication file detail screen. This concludes the install of the actual authentication file, so now let's test our work. I have started an SSH session to the CLI of the console domain and entered the craft login and an ASG challenge has been returned with the new AFID which proves the install was successful. I mentioned in the intro that I would discuss a communication manager caveat. I will explain that caveat now. Avaya Backbone Engineering has had a few maintenance cases where Communication Manager would not provide a correct ASG challenge in response. The Communication Manager will not pick up the AFS file if at least one Customer Privileged Administrator is not provisioned. This is the same behavior as in CM 5.2.1. However, because of the way the CDOM performs the auth file install, you do not receive the feedback that you formerly did in the earlier release of Communication Manager. To overcome this caveat, be sure to use the Communication Manager SMI web page to provision at least one privileged administrative login. 
you will use security and administrative accounts link to define that login in the SMI pages. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.